Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post some videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So as the title says, this is a Bible unboxing slash first impressions um and i'm so excited now the bible is already unwrapped and everything but in the next clip you see it will be unwrapped on camera and i'll go through my full first impressions i'm actually recording this intro like two days or a day after i like opened it and everything so i know what's in here and it's such a beautiful bible but it is the esv woman study bible from crossway i was so gratefully sent this bible i actually contacted them via email i hit up their company just in a nice formal um business email asking to review this bible because i did see a review i believe her name oh i can't remember her youtube channel name but i'll leave it you can click the card to go to her channel um she had the true tone in brown and she reviewed it and it was really beautiful and i wanted it for my personal collection for personal use and to share with you all so they were kind enough to send me the hardcover which is amazing so the hardcover retails for 49.99 this also comes in a cloth overboard in dark teal that is going to be 59.99 and you can get the true tone in deep brown for 69.99 now you can get it directly from the crossway website which is down below you can also get it from Amazon, and I'm pretty sure you can find it on christianbooks.com as well as eBay. So I will leave links all down below. If you do use the Amazon link, I do get a small commission from your purchase or from you clicking it. So I'm just meeting up with that. So, yes, this is the ESV Women's Study Bible, and this Bible is so beautiful. This Bible reminds me of a few of their other Bibles. It reminds me of the Archaeological Study Bible, which I have. It reminds me of the Illuminated Art Journaling Bible which I have. It reminds me of their regular study Bible, which my sister has. I got her one. And then apparently it, it also encompasses their women's devotional Bible. So it's pretty much four Bibles in one to create this, which is stunning. So as far as when this came out, this came out this year, actually August 27th, 2020. So it's fairly new, which is insane. Like this Bible is beautiful. So the artist for this, because as you can see from the cover, there is some artwork. And I said and mentioned that this is um, a combination of their uh, Illuminated Art Journaling Bible. So the artist for this is the same artist that did that Bible, who is Donna Tanamachi. And um, the title pages for each of the books of the Bible have the same art that you see in the art, the Illuminated Art Journaling Bible. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, so it is chef's kiss chef's kiss so um let's get into some real quick facts about this before i put the camera around for you guys okay so the font size for this is going to be an 8.5 type font with the scripture and then if i'm not mistaken the commentary note section is going to be about a 7 maybe a 7.5 but around the 7 range um this is double column which i enjoy you have that double column and then you have kind of like three areas below that you have the two column text under that you have the little section with the tiny little words that gives you some quick references and then underneath that you're going to have your study notes and then some cross references so there's a lot on the page it sounds like a lot but when you see it when i flip through it you'll understand what i mean this bible is about 6.25 inches wide and nine inches in height so it's not too big it's pretty much like a basic size bible which is pretty good um there are about 2336 pages so that puts this bible weighing in at 54.55 ounces which is not heavy at all i don't have a problem holding i mean maybe after 10 minutes your arm might start to hurt but that's just given but um it's a pretty good weight i love that it's a flat lay if you guys can see it is smith sewn which is great it does come with one ribbon book, book bookmark it's really thin um i wish it was a little thicker and i wish they would have did two but this perfectly works fine for me the paper quality is really nice um it's a 30 gsm now when it comes to gsm i honestly don't know what that means so i'll put it on the screen but every time i watch travel reviews they talk about the paper quality being what it is so if that means anything to anybody or if that's important to anybody it's 30 gsm um there is some shadowing with the text, but that doesn't bother me. It's a Bible. The paper quality, as far as writing in it, is fine. I have written in mine already. Um, so let me see. Yeah, you can't really see the pen that I use. And I use a Zebra F301 in here. So yeah, there's no like bleed through or anything. It's like shadowing, but that's common with a Bible with the paper quality. I have not highlighted in this, so I cannot tell you guys how it works with highlighting. But um, once I use it some more, I will come back with a full review. But this video is just a first impressions of me just 
uh my thoughts as i opened it um is there anything else i want to talk about i think that's pretty much it um as far as like me just introducing the bible to you guys i think it's amazing i do have the hardcover with the dust jacket you can take off the dust jacket and i think it's beautiful without the dust jacket oh i got some stuff on my arms that's okay but um here it is it just says woman's study bible i love that gold foiling oh the spine is what gets me i love a good spine i'm sorry i'm not looking at you guys i'm looking this way so that i can make sure it's in but i love a good spine on a bible so good but this is absolutely stunning i love this bible so much um and yeah like it's a, it's a fairly recent bible new bible so um i'm excited i'm excited for more use out of this i have used it already for galatians which that study with me video is coming soon i did use this for that but uh yeah that's it so let's flip the camera around and take a look on the inside and you guys can get my first impressions hey guys so we are going to unwrap this beauty like i mentioned in the intro i did send an email directly to crossway requesting um this bible for review and i was shocked that they actually sent it because they never responded back and i will say that they shipped this out pretty fast if i'm not mistaken i emailed them on a thursday or a friday and i received this package on a thursday so um yeah that was definitely a shocker and i'm super excited so it did come in the crossway white box and i do that out of course and um it is wrapped up i did not want to unwrap it as you guys can see so i'm just going to grab my exacto knife and i'm gonna pop a little hole right over here in this corner i apologize about the ring lights um it is a little dreary because it has been raining non-stop so had to get as much lighting as i could possibly for this video but yeah so you can get it in the hardcover which is what i have or you can get it in the i believe it's the leather touch there is a black one and a brown one if i'm not mistaken um i'm just grateful to have one of them i'm trying to get this paper off okay paper is off to the side and here we are i absolutely absolutely love the design of this so much it is so pretty you guys can see the gold sort of minimal foiling i wouldn't even say it's foiling per se but it's really really pretty it's a gold like font and as you can see the contributors are going to be jen wilkins which i have read from lauren chandler i haven't heard of and boss camp i've heard of trulia newbell i've heard of Kristen getty and others so um it is the esv woman study bible and i do have an esv study bible actually in my house um i got my sister one for you know her personal studies so i already know how the esv study bible is set up i don't think i did a video on her bible so i will have to do a video on that bible but um yeah we have this here is how the spine looks really nice and simplistic i love the florals and then on the back you just have that there is the isbn number if you guys are curious okay so taking off the dust jacket oh that is gorgeous oh my gosh that's gorgeous that's gorgeous that's gorgeous ah! gorgeous 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 um so here it here's how it looks it says woman's study bible in gold foiling this is actual foiling it's really nice i love the dual tones with the blue the spine is gorgeous and there is nothing on the back and then on the inside flap let's just get this a little close for you guys so it says join on content adapted from the best-selling esv study bible and the esv women's devotional bible this study bible features over 500,000 words words of study content to help women in all seasons of life pursue a deeper transformational understanding of scripture there are 13,000 plus study notes 350 plus reflections on key passages 15 articles on theological topics explanation of the plan of salvation 120 bible character profiles that's awesome introduction and timelines for each bible book 80 plus maps and illustrations over or at least 80,000 cross references glossary with concise definitions of key terms and extensive concordance as well and then it just gives you information about the esv translation so this is as the title says going to be a first impression me just opening it up fresh out of the packaging i will come back and do an updated review as well as a like live bible study with me with this bible but um yeah let's zoom in a little bit more 
Okay, I really just like the simplicity, but um, how pretty it is at the same time. It does come with one bookmark, which we'll get to, but um, I love this. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to pick this up on camera, but there's like little specks on it. It's so nice, and it feels nice as well. So you get those blank pages in the front, of course, which is great for jotting down notes. You have the presented to by and on section, which is sort of kind of like this old gold kind of metallic font. I'm not sure if it's going to pick up too well on camera. Probably not, um, but that is really pretty. It says Women's Study Bible. And I'm guessing that this font is like throughout the entire Bible. It's that gold metallic old font. It's like an old gold color if that makes sense. You have your copyright information and it talks about the content. So you have a list of reflections. They give you a list of charts, profiles, and illustrations. List of abbreviations. You have your introduction to the actual Bible. Who your contributors are. The preface to the ESV. And then an overview of the Bible. Then of course your Old Testament and New Testament. It says that there is um, a theology and dates of the Old Testament for the Old and then one for the New as well. So that's pretty awesome. So there is, here is a list of all of the reflections, which I like that they have this laid out, especially in the front of the Bible. It's helpful. Sorry if you guys can see that. It's helpful when you just want to read something quick that correlates to the book in the Bible or chapter that you're in. So I like that they have that. So they have quite a few for Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, it looks to be they have some for each one. I'm definitely going to read through the ones in Ruth because we know I love Ruth. Um, let's see. Here we go. Okay, I like this. I like this. I like this. This is really nice. It's a lot of reflections. I tell you that a lot of reflections for sure. Definitely going to read through the one on Jonah. Um, is that it? No. Then you go into the New Testament one. So that's that's quite a few. Quite a few. Okay. Then you go into your list of charts, profiles, and illustrations. So it tells you exactly where you can find the list um, list of charts and diagrams. You can find your illustrations. And then you can find your character profiles. Now, I feel like this also encompasses the ASV Archaeological Study Bible. You guys probably would have seen my video on that if you haven't clicked the on the screen for that. If I'm not mistaken, some of the illustrations in here are from that same Bible. I will do a comparison video um, comparing this to the ESV Study Bible as well as the ESV Archaeological Study Bible um but we have that then you have your list of abbreviations your introduction which goes into the purpose of the bible um divine words and merely human words it has understanding and, te and teaching of god's words doctrinal perspective special features of this bible the cross-reference system and concordance then you have the esv bible and the esv women's study bible the goal and vision of the bible I like that. Um, then you go into your contributors. So I'm going to actually scan through this right now and see if I, any of these names are familiar to me. And if you guys hear music, you guys know um, my brother is a musician. So he's actually working on some stuff right now. So you might hear him. Hopefully it's not too loud. But um, just going through, I don't really see much of anybody on this page that I am familiar with, if that makes sense. So. None of these people are from, I'm familiar with, but I'm definitely familiar with Trillia Nuba. I do own one of her Bible studies, and I know she has another, another Bible study coming out soon that I definitely want. I am familiar with Jen Wilkins. I have a few of her books. Um, I'm familiar with Ann Voskamp. I own some of her stuff, but I um, have not read it through yet, so that's that. Um, anyone else I'm familiar with? I'm not familiar with any of these other people, though. So, yeah, but they give it to you um, by who is a part of the editorial team. Sorry about that. Who is a part of the reflections and the reflection contributors, the article contributors. Then it goes through who writes what for like the books of the Bible. So you like your study note contributors. It tells you who. I'm actually going to have to go through this a little deeper for myself and look up these people. Um, you have other contributors to like the overview, the archaeological and um, architectural reconstruction and things like that so i like that um you go into your preface which is about the bible the tr translation legacy the translation philosophy um the principles and styles the translation of specialized terms textual basis and resources 
sexual footnotes, publishing team, and then God's honor and praise. An overview of the Bible, so God's plan for history, God's promises and pr predictions, God's warnings and curses, his covenant commitment and instruction. Christ is the offering of Abraham and the last Adam, shadows, prefigures, and types of Christ, and then Christ is the mediator. Then you go directly into the Old Testament. So like I said, this is going to be a first impression. I don't have any pages marked off. You guys just saw me open it for the first time. So yeah, we're just going to dive in and see what it is offering off of first glance. So far, I'm very impressed. Um, so you have this page, which is a theology and dates of the Old Testament. So you have the essential components of the Old Testament story. The parts of the Old Testament in relation to the story. The Old Testament as Christian scripture and the Old Testament timeline, which is an overview, which is going to be this chart here, which has some notes at the bottom. Then you have the Hebrew calendar compared to the Gregorian or modern calendar, which is really good that they have that. I like that. Okay, and then you jump in to genesis so if you guys own the um what is it called i believe it is the illuminated journaling bible because that's what this looks like to me i'm actually going to compare it to all of my other esv bibles because i do have three other esv bibles plus my sister also has the uh study bible as well so i'm going to compare it to those but i feel like these um sort of like chapter or book headers i don't even know what to call this title page the, ch the book title pages look like they're the same ones from the um, journaling Bible. And actually, let me pull mine out right now. I don't have my dust jacket on it. I honestly don't know what my dust jacket to it is. But this is the ESV Illuminated Journaling Bible. I think I did a video on this, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm actually going to compare it to... Um, yeah, so in the ESV Journaling Bible, it is obviously a lot more bigger but in this Bible, it is smaller. So it's definitely the same images with the same kind of gold font. That's nice. Okay. So I'm going to keep this to the side for now. Um, then you have your introduction. So it has a timeline at the top. You have your author date and recipients, your theme, your key themes, which I like that they give you a general theme and then breaks down the key themes. That's nice. You get your outline, a little map, um, and then some information and... Yes, it is very similar to how the journaling Bible was set up, um, where it has a little symbol here, the title, and then that first letter is like stylized in an artistic sort of sense. So you guys can see that there. So I like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this back to the side. And this looks to be two column style with two column style of um, notes. And then your references are way at the bottom here. Hopefully you guys can see that right down here. Um, so that's nice. You also have some references here. So that's cool. That's good. That's really, really good. I like this. And it looks like it's easy to read. So that's nice. You have a profile here of Adam. It tells you the key reference for it. This one is about Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm not sure exactly what this box is for. Like I said, I haven't gone through the Bible. So when I do my second video on this Bible, you'll see... Um, you have a definition here for in the beginning. Okay, I like this, I like this, I like this. Let me see if there's anything here. This, I'm assuming, is one of those reflections. So this is the help a helper fit for him, Genesis 2. This is by Sam Storms. Okay, I like this setup. Here's another profile for Eve. Another one of those reflections. You have a genealogies of uh, Genesis here. So this is like a little chart, which I like. Um, let's see what else. Here is a, another chart, but this one is showing age at fatherhood and age at death. All right. So it's saying that <laughs> Adam was 130 when he had his first child and 930 when he died. Interesting. Okay, that that's. That's really interesting. <laughs> Profile on Noah. This talks about favor. This is a chron chronology of Noah's time in the ark. Another one of those reflections. So I'm just going to flip through. Okay, randomly flip through to Solomon's temple. So we have... 
Solomon's Temple. My pages here are a little bent, but that's fine. Doesn't bother me whatsoever. We can fix that. But here's an illustration of Solomon's Temple. Honestly, I prefer the Solomon's Temple that is inside of the archaeological um, study Bible. Let me grab that as well, since all of my Bibles are right next to me. Okay, so I have the Archaeological Study Bible, ESV, of course, from Crossway, and here is the temple. So it's pretty much the same sort of image, literally the same, if you guys can see, but in the archaeological one, it is a lot more colored and a lot more bigger, which is perfectly fine, but it looks to be the exact same layout from what I'm looking at, if you guys see here. The only difference I'm telling is that up here, it says Solomon's Temple, and then at the bottom right corner, it says Solomon's Temple, but everything is pretty much laid out the same exact way if you guys can see the images they're just smaller so I like that it does um, encompass a lot of their Bibles so far I'm seeing that it has three of their Bibles in one um, three of their Bibles no yeah three of their Bibles it's like the study Bible it is the archaeological study Bible and it's also the art journaling um, Bible as well as their um, they say devotional Bible in it so I like that but um, their sketches are really nice they're simple. They're um, easy to read. So we have that. Okay. I like the two columns. I like that the numbers are in that gold kind of font. It's really nice. It's real easy to pick out quickly. Some people might not like the font size on this, but um, it doesn't bother me. I do wear glasses. So um, we have that. But okay. So let's flip ahead. Here is Psalms. There's like something good on every page for Psalms. I'm definitely going to enjoy that. Here's one of those reflections. This one is by Ann Voskamp. My soul thirsts for you. Psalm 63. Here's another one I just flipped to. The King Priest at God's Right Hand. Psalms 110 by W. Brian Alker. Alker? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, so let's get to the gorgeous bookmark. Here it is. It is sort of this like teal color. It is double sided, of course, satin on one side and then the other is just plain. Um, so that is nice. That is nice. So I'm going to flip back ahead to Malachi. Okay, so you have the New Testament, that is the end, yeah. So at the end of Malachi, you have this gorgeous picture, which again is in the Journaling Bible. Then you have the New Testament, and then it goes into the theology and dates of the New Testament. So you have your already but not yet, who is Jesus, Christ's work on the cross. You have the promise of the Holy Spirit, sin, faith, and repentance. The church as the people of God, the New Testament timeline, which is this chart. I like that. And then you go into the book of Matthew again with that title page, your introduction information, your map, and then it goes into the actual text. So it is not red letter text. ESV, I've learned, is not red letter text. I prefer red letter text, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, when I first started out studying the word of God, I definitely wanted to keep um, red letter text on hand. But now that I am um, a little bit more... I don't want to say mature because I don't I don't think that's the proper word. But now that I know um, a lot more about the word of God and I have a deeper relationship with the Lord, um, I'm not so big on it having to have red letter text, but I do prefer red letter text. But the ESV translation from what I know does not offer anything in the red letter text. Um, so, yeah. Here's one of those uh, reflections. This one is by Trillia Newbell. And here's another one. <laughs> I am not purposely flipping to this, guys. I literally am just, like, turning pages. Okay. I don't know if there are any images that I can find off the back in here. I'm not finding any so far, so, yeah. Equip for the Task, Acts 1, 6 through 11 by Caroline McCulley. I think that's how you say that. But I really, really like the setup of this Bible. It's really nice. And I love a Bible that offers uh, little reflections or devotions or however you prefer to say it. They keep me going and they keep me interested. Um, so, 
yeah okay what is this this is the end of second oh it's not the end of second timothy so it seems to be like there is going to be artwork throughout depending on the size of the book in the bible so that's nice i like that one Again, I'm not sure if I can find those charts right now. Be not the charts, but the images, because I am not finding them. But, um, no, I can't seem to find them. But we go to Revelations, um, and then at the end of Revelation, let's get to it. So at the end of Revelation, you have your articles and resources. So you have God's plan of salvation. It gives an overview of creation, rebellion, redemption, com consummation, filling in the details. So about God, man, Jesus Christ, the response, the results. This one is the Bible and the grace of God. It goes through the provision of God, the motivation of grace. I'm sorry, the provision of grace, the motivation of grace, and the power of grace. And I do have a grace Bible study coming soon on this channel. I have started doing some videos about grace on Daughter of Grace. They haven't been consistent as of right now. They're like every other week. But um, this is definitely going to be read so that I can incorporate some of this information inside of that Bible study when I do do it. You got why is doctrine important. So it talks about doctrine summarizes God's word. Doctrine guarantees the health of of god's church doctrine bears fruit in the lives of god's people how to make the most of your bible study by jen wilkin if you have not gotten her book oh my god what is the name of her book let me grab it because i see it right here it is called woman of the word now i had gotten this after i figured out that i prefer bible journaling but um this book is really good she does share her sort of bible journaling technique in the book so this is the inside of like her ESV study Bible when she did James 1, 1 through 18. And you can see that she wrote in it. I do a lot more writing, of course, but I love that she included that. So this book is really great. She has three other books that I do own on ebook version of, but um, her books are really great. But I like that. Um, she talks about the long term view, staying put, honoring the context, understanding the genre, using the tools that we have, dwell in the I don't know. Um, because it's okay to not know, especially when you're studying the Word of God. It's alright. That's what the Holy Spirit is for, and that's what resources are for. Um, study all of it, and remember that the Bible is a book about God and His grace, and to pray. This one is learning to pray from the Psalms. I like that. So it says, ask, depend, dependent, lament, lament, sorry, and impudence. Missional living. So the heartbeat of mission the strength for mission, the context of the local church, the missional living in a fallen wor world, and the last day of mission. This one is on evangelism, and of course, I am really big on evangelism, um, of being being an evangelist and evangelism as a, and as a whole, excuse me. <laughs> um, I'm currently reading this book, uh, Resuscitating Evangelism by Jordan Easley and Ernest Easley, and this book is wrecking my life, you guys. It is wrecking my life. Um, if you guys can see, I marked it up it's wrecking my life but um she talks about sharing the gospel making the effort and trusting the holy spirit and this is about just evangelism as a whole as everyone in the body of christ has a job to evangelize the gospel um okay so what's next we have singleness a privileged calling the godly wife what's next what's next um Nurturing children to love and follow God. I'm definitely going to definitely read this because I am a mom to a son. Um, so that's good. Adoption, God's plan, and our responsibility. I like that they included this because there are a lot of parents who adopt. Caring for children with disabilities. Again, I like that this is included. This is amazing. I like this so far. Emotional health, which is highly important. Eating disorders and other self-destructive behaviors. I just wow the fact that this is in here is insane like wow forgiveness healing and shame the church and women at risk then you go into your table of weights and measures and monetary units you have a reading plan in the back which is really nice for those of you who prefer reading plans i like reading plans but i like reading like my own style like they i don't know 
I just prefer a specific type of way of reading the Bible, if that makes sense. Um, but this is a nice one. One day I'm going to do a yearly reading plan. One day. But they literally have one for like every day of the year. Then you go into your glossary, um, which is really nice. You have your words back here. Not a lot, but just enough to get you going. Um, and then, if I'm not mistaken, this is the beginning of the concordance. Yes, your concordance is here. And that spans a few pages. And then, after the concordance is... Let's see. Okay, so after the concordance, you have your colophon. I can never say this word right, but I believe it's colophon. <laughs> And then you have your map. So map number one is the Middle East today. Map number two is the world of the patriarchs. Map number three is the exodus from Egypt. Map number four is the tribal allotments of Israel. And it looks like that. Map number five is Israel under Saul, David, and Solomon. Map number six is the kingdoms of Israel and Judah. Map number seven is the Assyrian and Babylonian empires. And then map number eight is the Persian and Greek empires. Map number nine is the Israel under the Maccabees. Map number 10 is Jerusalem. Map number 11 is the Palestine under Roman rule. Map number 12 is the Apostles early ministry. Map 13 is Paul's first and second missionary journeys. Map 14 is Paul's third missionary journey in his voyage to Rome. And the 15th and final map is the spread of Christianity in the first two centuries. You guys can see that. And then you go back to those end pages. Um, but off my first impressions, I absolutely like this Bible. I think it's really, really amazing. Um, I love the way it's set up. I love all it offers. You guys know I'm really big on um, resources. I love when a, a study Bible offers resources that are very different from the other Bibles that I have. I think that this is a great option if you're looking for a new woman's study Bible. Again, I am going to use this further and let you guys know my thoughts, say about in a month or so. So a month from this video, I should have up my review as well as a sort of demonstration of how I would use the Bible and going through the Bible. I am probably going to use this Bible to either go through Ruth or through Jonah or probably both and then come back and let you guys know my thoughts. Um, I think that would be the best idea for me personally since I have already studied Ruth and Jonah a couple of times. Um, so yeah, I wish, the only thing I would say is I wish that the bookmark was a little bit bigger and that they gave two instead of one, but that's just personal preference. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this Bible. I like it. I like, I like it a lot. And, um, I'm pleased. Off first impressions, I'm pleased. Like I said, I just opened it out of the package. You guys can see all the wrapping here. <laughs> so this is literally a fresh out of the package first impressions video. And I'm excited to see how this is going to help me with my personal studies and to see how I can utilize it in my Bible studies from the future on. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything, let me know. If I didn't answer your questions about the Bible, let me know. Um, so that is pretty much it. it. Links will be down below for Amazon, for Crossway, and for ChristianBook.com. If you guys do use the Amazon link, I just want to let you guys know that it is an affiliate link. So if you guys click and use that link, I do get a little bit of commission, like 20 cents per purchase, <laughs> if that um, off you guys and I'm, I'm I want to be upfront with you guys about that because a lot of people always ask me questions about YouTube as well as about like making money wise so I definitely want to keep that up front so anytime you see an Amazon affiliate link just know that when you use that link when you click that link and you make a purchase I do get a little bit of change from that purchase um, and all of that goes back into me helping with the ministry getting content and things like that to review for you guys and to share with you all but um, I definitely want to thank Crossway so much for sending this to me I truly truly appreciate it and I just I can't wait to dive into this I'm actually in the middle of studying Galatians for church so I might also use this while I'm studying Galatians we'll see but um yeah I I'm excited for this Bible I love the color of it I think that if you want to get the hard cover it definitely do it is really nice I mean I'm a girl I like pretty things and I think this spine is just gorgeous like I don't know what it is but Crossway has like these really gorgeous spines on their Bibles like 
all of their bibles are so gorgeous but um that is it for this first impressions again i apologize for the two ring lights it is a little dreary outside like really really dreary and um it's pretty dark so i had to try to get as much light as possible in this video but i'm gonna end it here i'll see you guys in the next video bye